What's poppin' Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this mother sucker, baby. Join me as I read you you all's lives. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Baby, you already know I appreciate each and every single one of you Pisces. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, therosemoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So Pisces, you know I love you, baby. This is going to be one of my hot boxing readings. I hope that you all can hear me well. Mic check, mic check, one, two. Okay. So, light up, smoke up, toke up, do what you got to do. Kick your Pisces motherfucking feet up, baby. We about to see what's going down for futuristic options that are coming up for you. Now, with that being said, I do want to get my disclaimers out there before I even start. Okay, and thank you to all of my new subscribers, my old subscribers, my OGs. I love you, baby. And thank you to everyone who has donated as well, too. I'm so appreciative of you guys. Okay, thank you to Angel as well. I really, really appreciate uh, every every single one of you guys. I truly, truly do. Uh, now, with that being said, let me get my disclaimers out there to all of the motherfucking haters and the cross watchers and all they extra out asses. All right? Yes, bitch, I'm going to be smoking like a motherfucker in this video, and I hope y'all smoking with me. Okay, if you don't like that shit, click the fuck off. I am going to be uh, cursing like a sailor. Yes, I am. With that being said, if you are sensitive, honey, go on and click off. Okay. If you come in my comments projecting this shit, bitch, you got to go. Straight up. It's going to show all your insecurities and all your issues and things. So, don't be talking about I'm the she-devil and he-devil. Okay? Today, I just bought... Um, this is do -si do again. This is what I'm going to be smoking. So, this video is also sponsored by Keen Psychics as well. I want you all to hit them up. There are other mediums and other um, tarot readers as well that you can um, talk to, okay? And I probably might be doing a live video on um, my experience on Keen Psychics, okay? So hit them up. They are sponsored in this video. Once again, that is Keen Psychics. So with that being said, Pisces, you know I love you, baby. If ain't nobody told you today, I told your ass, okay? So let me go ahead and move the camera real quick so I can get started. Hopefully it'll be safe like that. Now, with that being said, this is going to be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, Penis, North Node, and for my South Node, and also for my Mars, Pisces, you know. <laughs> Jupiter, Pluto, okay, Venus, shit, Saturn, Mercury, all them hoes, baby. Now, let's see what's going down. We're going to be finding out future things. I do have some clear audience messages for you guys before I do start, but I did want to shuffle the cards before I actually start. Um, I feel like for some of you Pisces, there's a lot of balance or just your equilibrium. Um, this could be you just sitting in meditation. This could be you on your phone sitting in meditation. Okay. Some of y'all could be meditating on your phone, being your escapist. All right. I also feel like some of you guys could be, um, doing a lot of memory, um, just going through a lot of memories. Okay. This could be in your childhood. I feel like for some of you Pisces, um, there's definitely something that you are going to cut off so I'll elaborate on that more before I forget to smoke <laughs> the girl be so high I just be numb smoking okay 
I be having to take breaks every now and again and shit. So let's see what this let's see what come out with this dosy -si do, all right? Pisces. Let's see what's up. Spirit, you are welcome into this Piscean reading. Sheesh. Let's do that one more time for my Pisces. That one time for the one time. You must sage the cord for all of my Piscean gods, baby. All right. Pisces. Bitch been smoking like a motherfucking chimney choo-choo. Okay. In the wintertime. In the Antarctic. Okay. What else? Straight like that. An olive. Or what's his name? Yeah, I think Olive. Okay, but anyway. Oh, I wanted to show you guys Baby Shango. This is Baby Shango. Um, this is my little Baby Shango voodoo doll. Uh, but it's actually my daughter's. Anyway, she named him Baby Shango. Pisces. As I was meditating on your energies, let me go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty, okay? I was thinking a lot of you Pisces um, could be thinking about things in your future, but it's also flourishing from your past. It's like, you know, that Tupac, the rose that grew from the concrete type of shit, you know? Um, for some of you Pisces, it is time, okay? Some of you all's affirmations are going to set in, okay? Especially your timing. I feel uh, some of you Pisces could be reminiscing um, in your childhood, you know, you all knowing that you were going to be born the way that you were, very different, okay? Um, some of you guys have always been seekers or just searchers, okay? Definitely in that thinking or in those higher thoughts, okay? Um, but I feel like at this time, some of you all are really thinking about your past. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be trauma, Okay, doesn't have to be people and exes of the past. Because, you know, I think people have it mistaken. Like, even when I do the the um, the singles read, I'm like, you know, there's somebody. Let's see who's new that's coming back. And say it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius card that comes out. Somebody's like, I don't want nobody from the past. I'm like, what? That makes no sense. This is a new reading. So, and I think some people get that shit confused. That there can be things that have happened in your past, past uh, childhood traumas, okay? Childhood um, stories, childhood uh, perspectives, okay? It doesn't necessarily it could be childhood. It could be um, high school, you know? It could be college. It could be uh, life after living with your parents or um, whatever things that you have been through. Um, those things can resurface. And I feel like there's a lot of affirmations that you guys have set to stray away from those types of uh, those types of mind frames. And some of you all are definitely uh, setting the standard for yourself, okay? But I do feel like um, it's so unmatched. Your energies are so unmatched. Um, a lot of you guys are inventors, painters, talented in music, okay, writing as well too, visionaries. Um, I feel like a lot of you Pisces, there's things that are in your future, okay, that you need to incorporate um, into understanding why the path that you're on is what you're on. So when I say you're thinking about past and trauma, past and what has happened in the past. It could be 
you know, a good scenario, okay, of how you became who you were, okay, those hard aching pains, okay, that some of you guys had to go through. That experience led you to who you were. And the hermit energy has been coming out for a very, very long time for you guys. This is you seeking in your thoughts, okay, manifesting your perspective as well, too. Tell me in the comments down below, were you guys a dreamer? Were you a manifester or a combination of both? And also tell me, how did, how has tarot, um, how has it manifested since you've been watching uh, tarot? You know, your predictions, the things that you've listened to. Has it been a headache? Has it been um, actually good energy? You know? But tell me how you guys, you know, choose to keep keep it going in your life when I think of the hermit I think of somebody who's always soul searching somebody who's always uh, you know in constant um, awareness okay it could be awareness of their dignity of what you stand for your morals your ethics okay your drive your ambition I feel like the hermit is always that person who's seeking knowledge and information, but it's like, what are you going to do with that information once you do obtain it? So let's see what's popping for the future for my Pisces. Give it to me for my Pisces for the future. We have the four of pentacles. So hold on to what's yours. Okay. You got to get to what you got. <laughs> So I feel something is definitely growing here, okay? Um, you have a lot of trees that are being planted, a lot of things that are being executed. I feel like uh, you have something that is in within your possession, within your ancestry files, within your DNA, okay? Your digital downloads. Uh, some of you guys are definitely seeing the growth and the opportunities um, that you have succumb. I mean, shit, I, it sounds cliche, but... If you really stop and just think about where you come, what experiences that you had, especially in those heat of the moments dealing with people, you know, you have the world energy here. So something is definitely opening up. Some of you guys have a lot of accomplishments here. Okay, some of you guys might be trying to get your equilibrium back, doing certain steps, okay, taking certain walks, going on walks is what I'm seeing here, going by the river as well. I'll have to see what that stone is on this card, but it looks like rubies almost. But with this world energy here, there's a lot of accomplishments, okay, in your future. I feel like as things are progressing for you, You are obtaining that trophy, okay, of your own goals, being realistic, okay, lining up, sizing things up, okay, like I said, having to be on that, on that Elsa, okay, on the Arctic and shit, all right, it's like, you know, bitch, it's still my island, honey, it's still my, this is still my, uh, motherfucking place, okay, I still know my place, even though it might be cold to other people, shit, I still know what's mine. Okay, so falling out, we got the high priestess and the empress energy here. So I'm seeing a lot of you Pisces. This is knowing the truth, okay? Understanding the truth, your intuition, okay? Your dreams coming true. What you've actually seen when you go to that plane, okay? I'm also getting, some of you guys are getting some understanding of your truth and of your life. This could be a mothering energy that's coming out, even though we're in a whole bunch of Leo, which is the sun, okay? Some of you guys might be um, figuring out a lot of your DNA, a lot of your patterns, 
okay as you're filling out your dna or going through your dna you're definitely seeing the past this could be uh dreams of the past as well too this could be what you've passed down to your children okay this also could be a lot of self-awareness is what i'm getting here with this high priestess and also with this empress energy here okay being out in the environment um i feel like this is a very nurturing energy here but with this high priestess this is you standing in the truth okay this is that clear quartz it's like, bitch, I know I'm spiritual, okay? So it's like, don't try me, don't fuck with me, and I won't fuck with you. It's just plain and simple. So I feel like for the future, you already know what's going to happen, okay? Some of you guys are going to be abundant with this high priestess here. This could be within your knowledge that you know that you're utilizing for your finances, for your growth, okay? You can't be no broke witch, okay? You can't be no broke warlock, okay? straight like that you can't be teaching people how to heal and shit and you hungry and starving your stomach is in the back of your is in the back of your goddamn spine okay <laughs> so as you're going through your journey i do feel a lot of you guys are obtaining higher knowledge higher learning like i said you know the ancestors groom your motherfucking ass but future future wise okay you know when to catch things like I told my kids, I said, I done been here for many, many, many lifetimes, okay? Don't you try to pass one slide. Don't you try to slide one past me now, okay? You know, don't you try that, okay? When my son walked by me, I said, baby, I can see through your dreams. I said, did you have on a hoodie last night in one of your dreams? Was it blue? He was like, yeah. I said, yeah, so don't try to slide one past me. I can see through your dreams, Okay. That's that high priestess shit. Straight like that. So a lot of you guys are seeing the truth. You have the six of cups and the seven of cups here. So I'm seeing a lot of cups, a lot of emotions as well. Some of you guys uh, might be very numb to your emotions here. But I'm seeing that there's a lot of offers. You have some sort of aquamarine crystal. Or there could be... Um, this almost looks like Jupiter here. I'll have to definitely look. Okay, but you have the Wheel of Fortune with this um, with this Amethyst here and Ten of Wands. So I feel like there's something that's changing, okay, in the future. Some of you guys are going to get your energy yet. Yeah, there could be some physical exercise that some of you guys might be doing, all right? Like I said, you might be doing certain steps or literal steps that you might have to take every single day um, to get your equilibrium up, to get your energy up. Okay, for some reason, I'm getting a ginkgo biloba. I don't know where this should be coming from. And dandelion root. Okay, and also sea moss or something like that. Okay, so yeah, um, here we go. Give me some more for my Pisces. Give me some more for my Pisces. I did see the chariot energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancerian. I also could be dealing with the Leo Sagittarius Aries as well. Give it to me for my Pisces, my baby loves. What's next in the future? King of Wands here. So Leo Sagittarius Aries could be coming up. This could be a, a person that you know that you work with. All right. You also have the Two of Wands here and the Ace of Cups. So whatever's coming up, if somebody is, it looks like he is waiting for you. Like, hmm. Okay. Pisces must come sit this on thy dick. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Pisces. So, uh, it does look like there is a lot of love that could be coming around in the future. All right. Some of y'all just cooling it on your motherfucking own. Okay. Being very adventurous. Some of you guys might have somebody who's very um, sexy. Okay. Around you. In the future. Give me more for my Pisces. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I see a lot of growth here. Okay, some of you guys are staying away from toxic pattern, toxic people. This could be a Capricorn as well. So you have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Okay, Seven, seven of Pentacles. This almost looked like uh, Lapis maybe. And Rose Quartz, Ace of Swords. Very interesting. Yeah, there's that King of Wands again. 
some of you guys need to come back to your center okay or find your um, energy or this could be your pineal gland cleansing that shit so yeah eight of wands here okay there could be some information that is coming your way but I feel like for a lot of you Pisces um, you're activating a lot okay this could be emotionally um, I feel like some of you guys feel like you're running out of fucking luck, but you're not. Okay, you got the Page of Swords, also the Knight of Swords. There could be somebody who's jolting into your energy or it could be quickly coming, okay? Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest. This could be somebody at your front door to ants on your uh, windowsill. Shit. Three blind mics. I don't know. But yeah, this High Priestess and Empress energy keeps coming out, so... I know that a lot of you Pisces are, um, you're residing where the magic is with this magician, hermit energy, high priestess, okay? Some of you guys just are so highly in tune, it's unbelievable, you know? It could be that whatever uh, energies that you're picking up on, some of you guys are using your infrared, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. This is straight up like, I know what's really going down. You got the high priest here and the star. So a lot of you Pisces, there's somebody that's in your energy that could be spying on you as well. This could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also another Piscean energy, but somebody is hiding their feelings around you with this two of cups. Okay, also queen of swords. Three of Swords here. There's Anubis holding um, the Amethyst again. Okay, and he's also got a compass as well too. So you guys are on the right path. Okay, you could be navigating something. Um, I feel like some of you guys are really like an ancient one. Like I said, future there is a turning or there's some sort of luck that's coming your way this is true luck okay or some of you guys might have a lucky streak okay with this ace of wands here if some of you guys had some sort of writer's block or creative block it is on the way to you you are unleashing un, you are unleashing a lot okay um, but I do feel like futuristic wise, some of you guys are staying away from uh, negative energies like the death and the devil. Could be Scorpio, also Capricorn, right? But with this Wheel of Fortune here, you guys are definitely fortunate. Definitely a lot of uh, new beginnings, okay, that are coming your way. Tell them bye, baby Shango. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you guys all so much. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.